Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival Season 7, Episode 36. And in today's episode, we're going to start constructing the major agri 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 agricultural project that I've been talking about. Um, today we're going to do the aesthetic of it, and we're just going to build a barn on the surface, and inside the barn we might have just a couple farm animals. And in the next episode, we'll do the below area with a bunch of automated farms that really will require minimal to no effort for our harvesting. Okay. Off camera, because this happens every time. Um, off camera, I died. Um, very unfortunate death. I was exploring, trying to find a mesa biome so I could uh, record this episode, and I, got, I lost all my stuff. And I will show a clip of that right now. Okay, so yeah, very unfortunate death. Um, I, I honestly couldn't believe it at the time. I was very shocked whenever uh, it happened, and it was one of the more unfortunate deaths I've had in Minecraft. And I've lost my stuff so many times now, and I'm tired of having having to grind to get it back. But I'm glad we got that Enderman farm. <laughs> okay, and then now you're probably thinking, okay, Tanner, you. Uh, your stuff looks worn down. I thought you just got new stuff. So yeah, I found the mesa biome, and I'll show you that right now. But I found the mesa biome, and I got about a couple uh, shulker boxes full of crap, <laughs> basically, full of um, uh, terracotta clay, hardened clay. You know, I much more preferred the name hardened clay. But uh, they can do, they can use whatever they want. But basically, that goes like 2,000 blocks out to uh, to a mesa biome. And uh, in a future episode, we're definitely going to be uh, making a uh, nether hub. So uh, basically, what I got to do is I'm going to repair these picks, and I'm going to rebuild the beacon because I used the beacon for speed mining, so I might have borrowed it a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go repair my stuff, and then we can start building this barn. So while I do this, I want to just uh, talk about something real quick. And it's, uh, why am I not getting sweeping edge? Hello, sword? <laughs> there she goes. Um, I want to talk about something real quick, and it's basically in regards to just online safety for yourself. And uh, basically, the, what I'm referring to particularly is an incident on my Discord server, in which a bunch of 14-year-old kids thought they were funny and used a third-party software to set up an IP-grabbing link like they're some tech geniuses, even though it's literally just a... Um, uh, an outside software or an outside uh, website that grabs IPs hooked up to a link shortener to some promotion YouTube links but that's not the point basically all I'm saying is um, uh, if there's a suspicious link whether you see it in my discord or just anywhere online don't click it <laughs> be smarter than that okay so basically, if just look at a link before you click it, and if it doesn't have HTTPS or um, uh, isn't secure, or if you get a warning from your antivirus, obviously, or it's just it's just not a familiar link. It's it's shortened. It's it just doesn't look right. Don't don't click it. That that's all there is to it. Um, and that that's all I wanted to say because. Uh, I I don't want anyone's IP to get grabbed. They grabbed like maybe ten IPs. I'm I'm assuming their end goal was to try and grab mine, but no, I, they didn't because I never clicked on any of it. I told one of them that he grabbed it, but <laughs> he didn't, which is funny. But yeah, that's uh that's all I got to say is just be aware of links you're clicking, particularly in my Discord, because I'm uh, a bunch of trolls lately think they're. Uh, Comedy gold, absolutely hilarious for grabbing IPs from uh, people at my server. So yeah, I'm uh, back to um, uh, grinding this XP, I guess. All right, so I think we're gonna put the barn on this island right here, and we're gonna have to put a bridge there and probably over there, but we'll see. So let's grab our blocks. One thing right now, we're just gonna lay down the foundation for this. 
but um, I'm going to have to get some more rose red dye for our terracotta because that's all we got right now is three. But yeah, basically it's going to be uh, red stained clay with uh, with uh, ch 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 wood beams like this. So let will go like right here and then we'll go like right here. And do you hear that? <laughs> Might need to investigate that. And then right here, is that a decent sized barn? We probably won't make it too big. Um, hello? Interesting. Hmm. It's a cool little area right here, I guess. Whoops. I guess we can just do this the hard way. So yeah, we'll do we'll do that as the beams. Oh, what a throw. Now that should launch me pretty far, right? Like Yeah, that was <laughs> didn't understand that. And then so the door. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, th wait, one, two, three, four, five. One one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. So that'll be the doorway. Uh huh. And we will have these as center beams. Um, I'm basically going off of how I've seen barns be built in my life. <laughs> Maybe make this go up a little bit higher. Seven, eight. So like that. And two, four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks to be on par. It still hurts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I had it and I fell. Um, we're going to block this off too. So that'll be that, and then these will connect like this, like it should, okay. And then obviously this will connect, oh, and there we go, like so. This will do the same thing, and let's go sleep real quick. I might have overthrown that. Just a hair. Ow. Guys, chill, chill. I'm going to leave me alone. <laughs> just going to take a nap. My other bed's at the mob farm, by the way, because I was uh, wanting to make sure it was nighttime whenever I uh, did all of the uh, all the uh, creeper collecting. Okay. Oh, wow. How did all of these get on my island? Oh, look, an endermite. You know how long it took me to get one of those? <laughs> hey, guys. Uh-oh. Yikes! Look how many. What? <laughs> you jerk! Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe he blew up. <laughs> that was so pointless. It just makes my life harder, is all that did. Thanks, game. I've been having a rough streak with creepers lately <laughs> with the taking my stuff, making this hole in my barn foundation. Okay. <laughs> I'm out of food. That could become a problem here. But, uh, right. So we'll have center beams uh, this way. Like this. And like this? Nope. <laughs> this. We're almost out of wood, but uh... Oh. Which one's this right here? We're almost out of wood. Ooh, this is off. That's alright, we can fix this. I would prefer to make it deeper rather than shallower. So, we'll just uh... tear this post down. And put it right here. And two, three, four. Okay. 
So that'll be our post, almost. We're going to need some more trees, so I'm going to have to collect some more wood. So that'll be our post, though. And we will see here. So what's the difference? We got pig, chicken, sheep, horse, cow. Is that our main types that we're probably going to have in our barn? We'll just go ahead and do one, two, three, four. We'll do six. So three on each side, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So if my math is correct, which I'm gonna have to grab some food. If my math is correct, that should be six blocks per stall. So one, two, three, four, five, six block. Oh wait, no no no. <laughs> it's not my math wrong. One, two, three, four, five block. One, two, three, four, five block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ew, that's a shame. Um, hmm. That's not bad. We could always just <laughs> bring it forward one more. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, if we could just bring it forward one block, it wouldn't be too bad, would it? We could always expand this to by what two more? That was a weird noise. Did you hear that? <laughs> so if this was say perhaps like this one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the post was right here instead of right there because one two three four five six I love counting apparently um, yeah we'll just move this back a couple blocks and terraform on the back half of this island this is gonna be a kind of a buildy episode so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes um, there's a lot of work that goes into these episodes I saw some complaints I don't know why I broke that but <laughs> there's a lot of work that does go into these episodes I saw some complaints on the Crimson Torrent series saying Hey, don't upload this, upload 20 hours survival. But you gotta understand, I put hours more work into this series than I will ever put into any other series on my channel. That's, uh, it takes a while to do all this, especially whenever I lose my stuff. But I'm not making excuses. What I'm trying to do is promote my Twitch channel here. So basically, if you want to see more Tornado Survival, I stream it quite often and show like all the back end work. And I do have tornadoes happen on stream as I've as you've seen them be put into the episodes, right? So if you uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you really want to see more <laughs> Follow me on Twitch, and the link is in the description. I stream probably around 9, 10 o'clock at night. Oh, it didn't count. That's got to be right. <laughs> I know it didn't count, but it's got to be right. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, if you uh, if you really do want to see more, it's uh, just follow me on Twitch and catch the live streams. It's probably your best bet. <laughs> Four. Ooh, look at that pro gamer play right there <laughs> so I'm going to uh, go grab some more wood and then we'll continue with the building I'll probably just finish all the beams here too um, you know just connect all these so uh, I'll sh come back and show you the progress alright I got enough wood to complete the uh, outside frame of this and it's coming along pretty good um, let's jump across here and get a better view um, but yeah that's the that's what it's looking like right now um, so now the next step is going to be putting the terracotta around the edges so if you don't have an un uh, understanding of what's going on here it's pretty much so this right here are gonna be animal pins and oh wait no that's gonna be walls <laughs> This right here is not going to be wood. Oh, whoops, I'm actually not done yet with the frame. <laughs> That's supposed to be wood right there. Okay. I might have enough, though, because <laughs> it's only three. Um, let's see. Sorry, chicken. <laughs> hey, you might be in this barn one day, chicken, so you better get a, you better get a decent look at this. Um, 
them like this. No, I have to put gates right here. But yeah, these these will be the animal pins right here. And we'll have the uh, different animals that I listed in there. And we need our terracotta right here. I brought a crafting table. Yes, I did. Okay, so I forget how you <laughs> how you do this. Ah, just like that. Okay, so it's roughly it's a uh, one die for uh, oh one die equals eight blocks basically. Okay, that's not bad at all. So let's just go ahead and die all of these because uh, we're probably going to use them. It's going to have a pretty large frame or large body to it. And that's all the dye we've got for now until I go and collect some more flowers or grow some beetroot or something. Can you? No, that's unfortunate. Okay. So just give you a quick little idea here. We'll throw together just a little panel. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to use dirt as scaffolding. Okay. And basically that's what it's going to look like with no roof. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in all that I can with this and then I'll get back to you and show you what we've uh, show you the progress. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm putting this as like a door to the hayloft because upstairs is going to be the hayloft above these animals' pins. But before we can finish the uh, wall here, we need to we need to put on some of the roof because otherwise this is just not going to be able. To, or we I don't know what panel needs what. Um, didn't I have cobble in one of these? Uh, no, that's stone. One of these had stone. Which one was it? Okay. <laughs> I might be going insane. Here it is. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So for the roof, we're going to use stone. And we're not going to use stairs because there's obviously no such thing as stone stairs. But we are going to use stone. And there's probably going to be a little bit of an overhang. But that's fine. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to do slabs. Which one of these is stone? Okay. <laughs> I wanted to do slabs on the edge and then do stone and see how that looked. Like this. Uh huh. You see, see what I mean? Uh huh. So we'll do slabs right down this edge, and then I'm just I'm gonna do one side of the roof on camera, and I'll do the other side off camera because uh, I understand that boring can get building. I know I said that backwards, but uh, sometimes you just gotta stick with it, rough it out, and roll with it. <laughs> hmm. I think the only issue here is the roof might just connect. <laughs> it might just go right over top. That's gonna be a shame. Let's see what this does. Okay, you would think I would there. Nope. Uh huh. -huh. Building. Uh huh. It's hard. Uh huh. Yeah. See, that's the only problem. Is that a problem though? If we just do it like this, I don't think that's a problem. I think that actually works. Whoops. Actually, that block's not a bad spot because I can uh, do that. No, that's not going to look bad at all. I actually really like that. Okay, yeah, we're going to go with that. Except, of course, this is going to be like this. And it'll connect like so. Okay. What are, what's that like? Oh yeah, I think that's looking good. All right, so I will uh, finish this. What if there's like that? I don't know. I'll experiment with it, and I'll get back whenever it's done. So yeah, basically we're just gonna put an, a roof kind of like this over top, where it just 
it just laps over and goes over. So I'll show you. You'll, you'll see what I mean when it's done. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so I put the roof on, and it doesn't look too bad, but I think I'm going to do some improvements to it. I think I'm going to add some, uh, like, spiky tall things right here. And the way that I'm going to do that is I think I'm going to add three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So twenty-two divided by actually be uh, so what is like every six. I'll start one. So one, two, three, four. Five. I guess the way we did it down here. I guess I could just use this post here. Oh, I guess this would only be two. That's fine. We'll just do two. Because um, this will at least be symmetrical, I think. So we can use F5 here. And this will tell us where these go. And this is one, two. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is centered here. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Where was this post at? Am I on it? No, it's one over. Okay, good thing I checked. Because then I would have had to move the whole thing. So, the way I'm going to do this is it's like... Like this, maybe? We want to make that sure that that's uh, centered. And maybe like this. Oop. No, that's not right. <laughs> the uh, roof should only be on top. So let's do it like where we fill in all of this. And then just a little pointy roof, maybe. So like... Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Oh, why did I break that dirt block? I am struggling so hard with that. Okay, so. I like that. Mm-hmm. I think this will look good from a distance too. If I could grab the clay, <laughs> we might need more clay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need more clay, but that's fine. Um, okay, so we need more clay. Oh, I should have left that. Let's see what this looks like, though. My rockets are on my hot bar. Hmm, I think it's too fat definitely too fat. I think we need to do like I originally planned and cut out that part right there and find a different way to do this. I guess just like this would work, wouldn't it? I think yeah, that'll work right there. That was definitely too fat. Too big. Too big. There is such a thing as too big. She ain't thick, she's just big. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's my stupid admin messaging me again. Don't you hate it when he does that? Okay, let's uh do that. Ha! Ah, might go do something else. Oh yeah, too tall. <laughs> Definitely too tall, right? How's it look from the ground? I mean, I know the aerial is important and all. I mean, that's definitely too tall though. Oh, incredibly too tall. Okay, I find it peculiar that there's four in between here, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six there. And one, two, three, four, five, six there. So, like, should this be moved one block down? Or <laughs> what's, what's the dealio here? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we might have to look into that. Maybe moving them a block, one of them a block down at least, or something like that. Okay, so let's just shorten this by one block. Maybe adding another one would be good too. I don't know. 
We're just experimenting. I was wondering why that was not breaking anymore. <laughs> I shift or uh, switch tools on accident. Okay. Looks like we're going to get a nighttime view of it, aren't we? Perfect. Yeah, that's much better. I think that looks good. I do. I really do. Okay. Now, if we move this one block over... That would mean there would be six in between, and there would be one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So five, six, five. Hmm. <laughs> Makes me wonder here. One. Oh, it's because I got. Nope, nope. That just doesn't make much sense, does it? One, two, three. Alright, look, look, look. This should not be like this. Um, there should be equal space in between. Yeah. <laughs> One, two. I mean, that's right, that's right, that's right. I don't understand. Okay, because if there's this block here and it extends out, extends out. So that would mean one, two, three, four, five. And there's this one here, extends out, extends out, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just dumb. All right, it's it's uh it's right. So uh, I think that's the barn. Oh, it's not a rocket. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what the barn's gonna be. Oh, you know what it needs? It needs one last thing. We're gonna put some stone slabs on top. What is with the mob spawning? Whoa. He's got full iron armor. Darn it. <laughs> Maybe place two. Alright, is that an improvement? Please tell me that's an improvement. It's too tall. Ooh, what if we just do the slab on top of those? Instead of, uh, you know, like that. Can he really see me from up here? And can he really land that shot? Because that was an incredible shot. <laughs> Moving and everything. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with that right there. So yeah, that'll be the barn, and we're gonna kill this guy because I want his armor. Oh no. This is where Tanner dies. Oh hello, surprise creeper. Eat? <laughs> oh man, the mobs. You know what? What if we just call it a night? <laughs> and just go sleep. And I'm getting a view of this beautiful barn in the morning. I might do some slight adjustments to it off camera, but that's what it's going to be. And then we're going to do one final thing before I call off the episode with it. Oh man, he sees me, doesn't he? Oh man, he made progress on that bridge too. They're so hard to hit. The tiniest of hitboxes. I think it's funny that they were full size armor too. Kill him. Ah, <laughs> oh, the skeleton's annoying. Aha! Thank you. Yeah, attack him. Alright. So, let's uh, see what he got. Iron leggings! Wow, incredible. Look at this gold armor full. I'll tell you what. <laughs> the mobs in this game. I think it's because <laughs> I lit up all the caves for the most part. So I think um, uh, there's quite a bit of... Quite a bit of mob space on top during the night for him. D did you... You killed the baby zombie? Good job, I guess. That's an, an incredible win. <laughs> thought for sure with that hitbox that the uh, skeleton would... Or lose, yeah. I don't know. Alright. Let's fix this creeper hole, too, since uh, some jerk <laughs> blew it up. Uh-huh. Grab that. Perfect. Okay, what was I doing? Ah, right. It's going to make the loft. But the only issue is I need to grab some wooden slabs. So be right back. 
And it looks like while I'm here grabbing stuff that the farm is ready for harvesting, so might as well grab this real quick while I'm here to keep updated on food and stuff. I almost ran out of food. I almost cooked my last potatoes, and that would have been really bad because I would have had to have gone and grow a, grabbed, gra gotten some more <laughs> from a different village, and that just would have been a huge waste of time. <laughs> So I'm uh, I'm glad I noticed that. And it looks like we're gonna have to grow some potatoes this time around. Although uh, I think we're gonna have to grow everything this time around. So yeah, um, uh, I'll be right back at the barn in a second. So the last thing I wanted to do is oh my bad is just fill up these uh, corner spots with hay. Or not hay, <laughs> slabs, so that we can put hay up here, and this will be a little hayloft for us. Um, that's pretty much what the uh, concept of this was. Is this top part? If you didn't know, I'll cover it one more time. Is this top part here is just an aesthetic? So, like this barn is just an aesthetically looking farm build, right? Then underneath here is where we're gonna do all the actual farming, right? So this will just be like a little, it's kind of like how the windmill, right? We grind out mobs in the windmill and how the windmill is just for looks and on the inside is the actual, is the actual where the magic happens, you know? So off camera, I will, uh, I'll probably finish the touch up of this place, get some proper lighting and uh, find some uh, good old farm animals, the ones we need in there. I don't know why I'm <laughs> not just crafting all of this into slabs. There we go. So yeah, off camera. Actually, it'll probably be in a live stream. I'm going to get, you know, about three or four of every animal and put them in here like I'm Noah's Ark or something. <laughs> so I'll have um, a couple sheep, a couple cows, a couple pigs, chickens, all the good stuff. We'll put them in here. Chickens are going to be the easiest one because i got tons of those at the other base. Definitely think the barn looks better on the inside than the outside, but that's usually the case with these type of builds because barns, for one, they're they're pretty ugly buildings <laughs> in real life if you've never if you've never really seen a barn. So, like, there's nothing special about them. And, uh, but the insides are kind of cool. Like, uh, my family owns a barn. It's a huge tobacco barn. We don't actually grow tobacco or anything. But uh, the inside of it is definitely way cooler looking than the outside. So, yeah. Oh, actually, I don't need any more. <laughs> I was about to grab those dyes like they were something special, but uh, we should have enough. And uh, I don't think we're going to need a couple more pieces of wood here. I'm just going to finish the rest on camera here. Might as well. And then we will end off the episode. And for those of you wondering, because there haven't been any storms in this episode, I do have the storm thing on two days. So the mod, sometimes, I swear, it just it does what it wants. <laughs> and uh, I kind of just have to work around that. We're going to have to sleep real quick. I mean, yeah, it's definitely not bad looking from right here. I think the back of it's pretty eh. I like the trap doors as like a door to the hayloft. I really like that idea that I went with there. It's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's sleep, sleep, and we'll go back and wrap this up. And then if you notice, I got 42 levels. That's how much grinding it took at the Enderman farm just to get those picks back to uh, where they needed to be. Oh, cool. A bunch of mobs spawned in here. Oh, and I mean a bunch of mobs spawned in here. Like, this is going to be a problem. Um, uh, this was probably gonna, oh man, there's a creeper up there too, I gotta watch out. It's probably gonna remind you of the barn from, uh, Season 5, and it does have its similarities, but it's also different, okay? <laughs> it's not exactly the same. <laughs> there are differences. Like, for one, the oak and all that, but yeah, I did model it somewhat off of the Season 5 world. Okay, let's, uh, let's finish this up here. And we need to put the gates in. And I guess, really with a hayloft, right, like the center aisle is open here. So we really, maybe put like, put it here. Because like in an actual hayloft, okay, tossing them out that door, you would probably, from my experience, 
you would stand on <laughs> on the poles <laughs> on the beams there and that would be your footing and you would uh someone would hand you bells and you would toss them down or up usually up <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's what it would be but we'll go ahead and put that there for cuz we're nicer and we're going to provide our workers with safety <laughs> okay so let's just do that okay oh yeah this is nice and well, I'll add torches and lighting and all the appropriate stuff up here. But that's going to be that for the barn build. And uh, I think we're ready to end off the episode. So before we do end it off, I would like to do some enchanting because I do have the levels. Um, and I need a bow, but that's only power three. So we do have a couple shots at something decent here. Oh, man, thorns one. Oh, look, the C2 at least. Sharpness three, punch one. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely going to take the <laughs> sharpness three there. I'm breaking two, though. I'll probably grab that. That'll be knockback two, protection two, smite one. Oh, power four. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. I'm breaking three, punch two, flame. That's not bad. We can get infinity on that because there is an infinity trade with one of the villagers. Ooh, efficiency four. That's really good. We will take that. Oh, and knockback two. I mean... I don't want the knockback too, but that is definitely a good one. Okay, so um, hmm, I guess we'll take fortune two, and we will combine efficiency four on. Um, hmm, which one do I want? <laughs> Probably the shovel, I guess. Even though I really used the the uh, axe more today. But yeah, that's uh, that's some pretty good enchants right there. Okay, let's uh, organize the inventory there. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. Next episode, I'll try and make sure we get some storms involved. But uh, yeah, just none spawned this episode. It's on two days. But yeah, next episode, I'll get some, in, uh, bleh, I'll get some storms to spawn. Um, I will be live streaming before the next episode comes out, so uh, I'll upload a video saying when I'm live, and if you see that video, I am currently live, and um, just uh, there'll be a link in the description, go check it out, or you can just go down there now, click the link in the description down below to my Twitch channel, follow, and you'll be alerted whenever I stream, but yeah, look forward to a live stream, and um, look forward to the next episode, hopefully to get these uh, out more frequently. Uh, Whenever I die, it really sets me back, but uh, I don't want to cheat or anything. And I have been busy working seven, eight hours a day, so uh, that adds some complications to it. But yeah, I hope to upload more. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!